So this past weekend was the Las Vegas Regional. I had some friends staying in town and they were nice enough to gift me with another box of Maximum Crisis as a thank you for my hospitality. We did really good in our first box. Let's see if we can go two for two. What's going on guys? It's Simo. So here we are back again. We got another box of Maximum Crisis. Thanks so much to uh, Dennis, P-Bunny if you guys know him, and his entire group of friends. They came and stayed with me for the Las Vegas Regional, and they decided to give me this as a little uh, thank you gift for letting uh, them pretty much invade my house for the entire weekend. So it was really nice of them to do that. I, I didn't ask them for it or anything, and I wasn't expecting it whatsoever. So I figured, you know, what the hell, let's go ahead and open another one because we managed to pull really good in that first box that we got so I figured you know maybe the luck is on our side and we can pull something equally as amazing in this box as well so without further ado let's go ahead and get right into it we're just gonna go straight holy shit masterpiece in the first pack okay so I mean that's already a really good start I mean masterpiece is hovering around 25 to 30 dollars currently so I mean no complaints there. Thanks, guys. We already got a really good start to this box. <laughs> Holy shit, that's hilarious. Okay, so yeah, uh, no complaints there. Um, one secret down, so hopefully, I mean, that's already a really good secret. Obviously, we're still going to be looking for the Ash Blossom as well as... The, uh, ooh, we had a, uh, was there a set rotation? No, I thought there was a set rotation. Uh, we're still gonna be looking for the, uh, Ash Blossom and the Diagram as well. If we could pull another Diagram, that would just be absolutely insane. But, ooh, Ignis Heat for our Ultra. That's not a terrible Ultra. It's pretty good for the, uh, Draco Slayer deck. But, yeah, obviously, Ash Blossom and Draconic Diagram are the money cards that we're gonna be going after. Masterpiece isn't too far behind, though, so I really can't complain about that. Okay, so we got here, uh, Waterfall of Dragon Souls. That's not a, too bad of a card. It's got some uh, pretty cool application, I suppose. And ooh, Majesty Maiden. Man, we're just getting the ultras like one after another. Majesty Maiden's really cool because it can search Masterpiece, so I really love that card. Obviously, you're only gonna really be playing this if you're playing like a like a pure variant, but it's, uh, it's still a really good card nonetheless. We got two for two on the ultras for the uh, True Draco. If we could get like the trap or maybe even the spell as well, that would be just a really good way to go. Supreme King Gate Zero. I call that a DDD card in the last. <laughs> Doesn't this look like a DD could like if, you, if this didn't have a name, this card looks like it could be a DDD card and you wouldn't even know the difference. So that's why I uh, mistakenly called it a DDD card. But regardless, we're going to be moving on. See, we got Spiral Sleeper. Not the best Spiral card. I mean, I think Fully Armed is probably like the best card in this set for Spiral, but still a chance we could pull one of those as well. We've only pulled two Ultras so far. Supreme King. Okay, again, look, this looks, if you didn't see the name, that looks completely like a DDD monster. It's a Fiend, it's Dark, it's a Pendulum. Like, it fulfills all the requirements, guys. Give me, give me some credit here. All right, so already halfway. I can't believe Masterpiece was right on the top. That was crazy. Okay, what do we got? Ooh, Dynamis Howling for your Dynamis players. There we go. Pendulum Mucho. Oh, yeah, best super in the set. No, I'm just kidding. But, I mean, it's a pretty hilarious super nonetheless. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, Las Vegas Regional was great, though. Um, ended up going 6-2. and two. Uh, played a lot of meta for the most part. Ooh, True King of All Calamities. Very good super rare there. I'm really happy about that one. Last resort, hashtag, uh, cut my life into pieces. <laughs> Thank you, uh, Glasgow Yu-Gi-Oh for that one. Shout outs there. Zephrath. One of my friends at the region was actually playing, um, Zephra, and he actually made it, like, to round five or six before he started doing, like, before it started crashing and burning. But uh, Zephra can actually do some really crazy shit if you guys know anything about that archetype whatsoever. One of those fusions there. I know nothing about this archetype whatsoever. I know one of my friends was uh, wanting all the cards for it, but other than that, that's pretty much the extent of it. So we're on the other half of the box now. Ooh, Darling Tony a Cobra for those Preda Plant players. Ooh, we got Zark. How unfortunate. That's so weird. Both of the. Did I take that from the top? 
I think I took that pack from the top. So that means both of the top packs had the secret rare. That's so weird. Man. That's odd. Well, anyway, so we got Zarked. So that's pretty unfortunate. But I mean, we still got a masterpiece. So I'm not going to complain about that. What else do we get in here? Oh, we got more. Um, Phantasms is actually a really cool deck as well. Um, I was actually playing against one of my patrons using or who's using that deck. And it's actually a really cool control deck. I actually never really understood like how powerful that deck can be if it sets up. But uh, ooh, Fiendus. Fiendus is a really nice super. Um, speaking of sub, I actually played against sub tears in round three or four. I, th I think it was round three, actually, at the regional. And um, this card, if you don't play around it, that card can just completely wreck you. So, oh, speaking of uh, the True Draco spell, we managed to pull True Draco Heritage. Damn, this box just, like, loves... I got two of the... Make that three now, True Draco Ultras, and we got Masterpiece on top of it. So, really nice Ultra Rare there. Cannot complain. That's really funny, though. Was not expecting that. Okay, and ooh, I mean, I mean the the true Dracos just keep coming. So we got Mary Amne. So if you guys don't know, this card is actually really, really fucking good. And if you don't have any copies of these, you might just want to pick one or two up because this card can do a lot of really insane combos. Uh, if you guys don't know, um, so people are playing like uh, Zephyros now with their uh, their true Draco deck so that they can recycle their diagram and do it again. So there's a really cool play with Mariamne where you uh, diagram and add Mariamne off diagram, right? And then what you do is you bounce the diagram back with the uh, Zephyros. So Zephyros is now on the field. You activate diagram again, diagram pops Mariamne, and then diagram is going to add you a true Draco monster. So you can add, or excuse me, like one of your true King monsters. And then Mariamne can add you one as well. So then you can add uh, the, you can add Lithosagym and you can add Barastos and then trigger Lithosagym to destroy Barastos and another card. You can even do Zephyros since you already have it on the field to summon out the Lithosagym. Lith uh, Barastos is going to trigger in the graveyard, summon out another true Drake or excuse me, true King monster from your deck. And then you have two level nine. So you can make a VFD or excuse me, a, uh, a uh, calamities just like that. So that this card is really, really powerful because of its ad effect. And it's something that, like I said, if you guys don't have any copies of that, it might just be worth picking up because they're only a couple bucks as it currently stands. But that, that card is absolutely incredible for what it can do for the deck. All right, so moving on here, enough of the uh, the combo shenanigans. I should have just made a video about that itself. Princess, no, no, hold on. First of all, we got it, guys. You go Golem. Oh, man. <laughs> That's such a bad name. Oh, my God. But Princess Sprite is a really good super as well. Blue Eyes players, you want to pick these up. Um, really good card. I can't believe you get to add a spell off of that card's effect. Like, that's any spell that you excavate. That's just insane. If you're playing, like, a 20 spell card deck... Ooh, another Calamities. Double Calamities. That's, uh, not exactly too common, but that's one of the better supers to get duplicates of, so no complaints. All right, we're only down to, like, four, five packs? No, there's, this is the sixth one, so we're, we're getting down there. Uh, Bujin Haruko and Fairy Tail Luna for our super... Hiroko is also a pretty good card as well. I can't believe it's a rare still. Getting our Bow Baboons. Can never have enough Bow Baboons. Final Battle, another Supreme King. Final Battle in the Sub Terror deck is just absolutely stupid. Like, the, the just the amount of like plays that that card enables and allows you to do is just crazy. Ooh, another one of the uh, Lyralusks for our super there. Again, I know nothing about that archetype, so I'm not going to say anything about it. Watch, like some Lyralisk deck is going to like make it like to fucking gnats and like just wreck everyone. That would be hilarious. Metaltron 12. And only two packs left. Could we pull a third secret? I mean, we've seen how fucked up some of these maximum prices boxes can be. So who knows? It is still possible, I suppose. But let's see. Ooh, another... Su getting all the Supreme Kings. So we're getting her a uh, full value. Zephyr Providence. I just want to talk about this card really quick. This card is amazing. Like, add one Zephyr card from deck to hand. Like, the... That's just, like, good generic support for, like, any deck. I know it's Zephyrus, so, you know, but still, that is just an amazing fucking card. 
All right, guys, last pack. Can we manage to pull, you know, maybe a fifth ultra or a third secret? That would be really cool just to get that on camera. So what are we gonna get? Okay, pendulum switch for the rare. Ah, Phantom Knights of Curse Javelin. Wah, wah, wah. Oh, well. Well, guys, this was a really fun box opening. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. We did get Zarked, but at the same time, we also did get a masterpiece as well. So, can't really complain. Let me know down in the comments what you guys think. Thank you so much for watching the video, and we'll see you next time.